guys. Uh, today I'm out here with only my ultralight today. It's not a spot that you can catch multiple species. Today I'm going to be mostly going for trout. Uh, it's a dam and at this time of the year, hopefully bigger fish run up to it and try to spawn. I'm obviously not going to be targeting any fish you see on reds, but a lot of them should be up here just like post spawn or getting ready to. I don't know. We'll see. And who knows, maybe there's nothing, I don't know, maybe this won't be a video. But hopefully we can catch a lot of trout. As I said, I only have my uh, ultralight with a nice little strap on there. Should be a good day of fishing. See you there. Oh my gosh, big brown. Came out of nowhere. Oh my gosh. It's actually a nice fish. Oh. Big stock brown came out of nowhere. Oh. Bruh. That was so weird. I wasn't catching anything all of a sudden. Bam. Out of nowhere. Look at that fish. Looks like a really. Eh. That, that actually is a wild. The markings threw me off because they're not very. Like, they're kind of messed up, but I'm pretty sure that's a wild unless he's like a really old holdover. That's a sick catch. Let's get a picture of him and get him back. Super gorgeous fish. Beautiful head and brown right there. Gorgeous. A giant pickerel just follow me in. I don't know if you saw that. Four pound line. He followed me from under this, uh, under that branch there. Slurped it. Be really careful with this. Got to get along around this tree too. First chain pickerel I've hooked out of this spot surprisingly. Nice and easy. It's a big chain pickerel too, I think. Not a giant, I don't think, but it's a nice gator. Oh yeah, that's a good chain pickerel. Oh my gosh. I don't know where he sucks. I know if he tried to engulf it. Hopefully, the line is right now outside. Looks like that's what the case is. But let's see if we can get him in here. Oh man. <laughs> And he's in the net. That is a nice fish right there. People don't like chain pickerel too much, but I love them. I don't mean, I don't love them, love them, but I mean, they're cool. They're cool. They're a lot cooler than people say. Actually lucky I caught him because he engulfed my uh, X-Wrap. Four pound line. He somehow didn't bite through it. Look at that fish. Oh, it's a good fish. Probably like 25 inches. All right, guys, I don't always keep fish, but uh, this guy engulfed it. I'm surprised, I'm really surprised I caught him with the four pound. I thought he'd bite right through it. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how well you can see that, but you can't really even see my jerk bait. He just engulfed it. Luckily, I do have pliers, but this guy isn't looking too good. Oh, my gosh. Bruh. I mean, like, chain pickerel, super hard to <laughs> unhook them when that type of stuff happens, even with barbless. Yes, we're doing a catch cook. 
Another reason why it's a shame to keep this fish is that stomach's probably full of eggs. Well, I know it's just a chain pickerel, but it's a big chain pickerel. And uh, it's full of eggs, but nothing you can do when uh, it's just like that. Another reason why people hate them is they just when they eat something, it's so hard to take the lure out of their mouth without hurting them. And like that, my jerkfish is just like gone down there. Beautiful fish. I guess I'll see you back at the house. I made it back to not my house, my grandparents' house actually. So I clean the fish. And I'm out here. Got the pickerel on the board here. That's how big that fish is compared to the cutting board. <laughs> if you hear random noises, weird noises, start apart, those are uh, from guinea hens over there. They'll be kind of annoying, but hopefully they shouldn't, shouldn't be too loud. And obviously the first step to, well, second step to a catch hook obviously is catch, clean, and obviously cook. So we're going to be uh, cleaning this fish real quick. I think what I'm just going to do is flay it, cut right through the bones. And uh, I don't think that should be it. I don't think I'm going to really try to remove any bones. I don't really care about uh, bones when I'm eating fish, but... And since it's such a bony fish, I think we'll just save a lot more meat if we just go with that route. Just as I expected, uh, I committed pickerel genocide. Look at all those eggs right there. Thing is, a lot of those barely handled fish will survive to over 10 inches. So, I mean, it's not as bad as that may look. Look at all those eggs. Barely them will survive. And they're also pickerel. So, I mean, I'm helping some bass fishermen out, I guess. Some weird bass fishermen that like catching bass and only bass. I hate these guys. Hopefully not like a smile like that. Like that's not good lighting, but there you go. One long fillet of pickerel meat. Meat's looking really nice. You probably can't see it too well because the lighting obviously, but really nice white white meat, a little dark, which that's to be expected, a little bit darker than a walleye would be. No, I've never actually cleaned a wall, I've just seen the meat, but look, looking pretty good. Uh, the main test is going to be how many bones are in it, and I really don't think it's going to be any different than a trout with a fish this size. I think it's going to be pretty good. I don't know. I'll see you in the kitchen. Alright guys, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this portion. Too much background noise in the original uh, uh, taping of this clip, but as you can see, super impressive white meat. Uh, the outdoors you couldn't really see how nice it looked. Yeah, really nice and white meat. Got to clean it a bit, but yeah. And uh, there you have uh, my X wrap I got back. Figured I'd show that for some reason. And then there's uh, the spice, some of the spices I use. It figured I'd keep it simple. Uh, for the catch cook, just want to bring out the flavors of the fish, see how good the fish actually is. And I had some brown sugar just to glaze it, kind of help with the cooking and uh, help with the taste of it. Then we have some uh, butter melting right here. Very interesting. And then we have me putting the fish inside the pan. Uh, I cut it up into four smaller pieces because it could not fit in the pan at the current size it was at. And I'm still putting it in the pan there, as you can see. And there it is sitting in the pan with all the spices on it, cooking away. It, did ta uh, it didn't take very long to cook, and for some reason it came out, well, you'll, you'll see later, but it just, it looks like, as you can see, it just looks kind of rubbery. Uh, it looks very bland. Uh, put some uh, lemon in for extra flavor. And for color, since it was looking bland, put some paprika just to help the color, make it like golden. And there's, it's uh, cooking there, clouding up the camera. I don't know what, what, what I was trying to do there. I'm gonna, then I'm putting the fish on the plate, getting ready to eat it. Turn off the stove. Uh, so there's the fish on the plate there. As I said before, not really trying to cook it to make it the best taste and they're looking, especially not looking. But yeah, I'm taking the fish apart, like it looks kind of rubbery. Like texture, texture wise, it's not not very apt, like appetizing fish wise. Flaking nicely, just looks overcooked, but it's not. Uh, but yeah, that's how the fish looks. Really white, kind of has a grayish tint, which isn't the greatest but without further ado eating it right now nom 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 and uh you'll see my reaction 
pretty soon, I think. Oh, there it is. Uh, thumbs up. Yeah, it was a lot better than I expected. I mean, I've had it kind of in the past. I couldn't really remember how it tasted. But as you can see, some bones, which is obviously the biggest concern with the pickerel. But a pickerel that size, those Y bones are huge. So easy to take out when you're eating. What about the taste of the fish? Uh, best way I could describe it was uh, bear money mixed with sucker. I don't know. It's, it tastes pretty good. It tastes pretty good. So uh, I'd give it a 4 out of five on the fish scale one uh much uh, super underrated maybe three out of five i don't know 3.5 out of five leave it at that super underrated fish uh as you can see look the meat looks pretty good in that uh but yeah it was pretty good and uh if you guys enjoyed please subscribe hit the like button down below and uh i'll see you next time